What's going on everyone? I'm Phantom and this is a predecessor hero guide. In today's guide I'll be showing you how to master Kalari. I will outline every ability, show you common combos, and explain the best jungle path for this stealthy assassin. If you want to jump to any particular part of the video, check the description for timestamps. If you want to see more guides in the future, be sure to subscribe. Without further ado, I hope this helps. Kalari the Executioner is the most dangerous jungler that you will never see coming. A skilled Kalari will dominate the jungle and leave her opponents fearing for their lives as soon as they step foot out of their own towers. Kalari relies on high bursts of physical damage to annihilate her foes, before they can even think to fight back. Kalari's passive ability is Shadow Dance. While airborne, press your jump key to send Kalari flipping up into the air. After flipping two times or touching back on the ground, Kalari's passive goes on cooldown. This extra vertical mobility makes Kalari a very challenging hero to trap as she can jump over almost any wall in the jungle. Keep in mind, each extra jump allows Kalari to change her direction of momentum by using a movement input during the jump. Kalari's left mouse button or basic attack is Slash. This is her melee attack that deals physical damage. The flurry of slashes that Kalari will unleash upon her enemies can do a lot of damage, so make sure you get up close to your opponents before making yourself known. Kalari's right mouse button is Crippling Dagger. Kalari throws a long-range dagger that deals plenty of physical damage to the first enemy target hit and applies a 20% slow on the target for one second. This deals 80 additional damage to jungle minions and it has two charges. This ability is fantastic for closing the gap to your enemies after their attempts to escape. Kalari's Q is Shadow Walk. After a 1.5 second delay, Kalari becomes camouflaged and gains 20% movement speed for the duration. Attacking ends the camouflage. While camouflaged, her next successful basic attack against an enemy will deal bonus physical damage. This ability is the bread and butter of Kalari as she will use this to close the gap on her opponents without being seen. Do keep in mind that there is a small radius around Kalari where her opponents can still see her, so be sure not to get too close until you are ready to engage. It's also important to note that wards will also reveal Kalari while she is camouflaged, and she will still be seen and attacked by towers. Kalari's E is Death Mark. This empowers her next basic attack or damaging ability for 5 seconds. This next attack will apply Death Mark to the first enemy target hit, increasing the damage dealt by Kalari to the target by 15% for 3 seconds. After this duration, the mark will detonate, dealing true damage to the target that scales based on their missing health, and grants Kalari additional movement speed that decays over 3 seconds. Keep in mind that the initial strike that triggers this ability does not benefit from the 15% damage bonus that the mark applies. Kalari's ultimate ability is Guillotine. After a short delay, Kalari dashes in a straight line forward and deals significant physical damage to all enemy targets she passes through during the dash. This dash can be used both horizontally and vertically, but note that the dash will end if Kalari collides with a wall or even the ground. This is not only a useful ability for closing the gap between yourself and an escaping enemy, but it is also a great ability for damaging multiple clustered enemies during a teamfight. Kalari's main damaging combo will be Shadow Walk, Death Mark, Basic Attack, Crippling Dagger, followed by a series of basic attacks. This would also be Q, E, left mouse button, right mouse button, left mouse button. Obviously the Shadow Walk comes long before the Death Mark as you will use the camouflage to get into melee range of your opponents first. Keep in mind that the Shadow Walk damage bonus will not stack with the Death Mark damage bonus because the bonus from Death Mark doesn't apply to the triggering attack, only the subsequent attacks. The dagger thrown between basic attacks works as a frame cancel, and significantly increases your DPS. Although I only recommend using one knife this way, as you will want to use your second dagger to either finish them off or slow them as they try to get away with their blink. Kalari's fastest red side jungle clear is to start with crippling dagger, then as you level, get death mark, and then shadow walk. For pathing, start on red buff, then move to the 2 minion camp, then finish on the 5 minion camp. Partway through the last camp is when you will achieve level 3. If you do this clear well, you should be done your jungle in less than about a minute and 10 seconds from when red buff spawns. Since red buff spawns at a minute 25 and river buff spawns at 3 minutes, 
This jungle clear will give you plenty of time to move from your 5 minion camp over to the river buff to either help your mid lane get the river buff or to secure it for yourself if your mid laner is going to go for the opposite side of the map river buff. Only take the river buff if you know your mid laner isn't going for it because the mid laner will always need it more than you due to their massive use of mana and the massive mana regen that the river buff provides. If you use your dagger on the river buff, it should die very quickly, and you can then use your shadow walk to prepare for if the enemy mid laner comes to get the buff. If they do, you can get some really easy damage on them as they make themselves vulnerable dropping down into the river. For items on Kalari, you're going to want to build mostly physical damage and attack speed. Depending on the game, you might want a touch of Omnivamp for sustain or perhaps some crit chance to burst down your enemies faster but keep in mind that the physical power and attack speed are going to be your main build goals. Kalari has the most ganking potential in the game right now, so ambush often and use her vertical mobility to catch people off guard. Her big drawback is that she isn't great at contesting Fangtooth or Prime buffs, so be sure to ask your team for help when those spawn. So long as you're ganking lanes and helping your teammates secure kills, they should have no problem helping you out on these significant buffs. I hope this guide has been helpful. If you want to see guides for any other characters, let me know down in the comment section. I want to make a lot more predecessor content, so if there's any other type of video you would like to see, leave it down there too. I plan to make overall role guides for different positions in the game, so stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see the, my future videos. I usually don't ask, but it really goes a long way to tell YouTube that my content is worth watching. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a lovely rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, and night. Bye bye